Hello Linux fans and welcome to Linux Quest and today we've got a look at Linux Mint Debian Edition. This is version 4 of LMDE with the Cinnamon Desktop and the purpose here is quite frankly if anything ever happened to Ubuntu you've got Linux Mint based off of Debian. I'm really excited about this and I'm, I'm not sure why. I mean Linux Mint based off of Ubuntu runs great as it is but there's just something about having a version not relying on Ubuntu that appeals to me. Uh, maybe over time I'll figure out what those reasons are, but right now I just know that this is great to have installed. It seems to be running very smooth. I've had this uh, loaded up today on one of my main systems. So we're going to step through a few things. We'll go in through and change some theming, things that I would normally do. We'll also take a look at the kernel and some other things that are a little bit different. I want to go ahead and start a video roll of when I was setting this up. I recorded the installer, which is different. And we'll go ahead and talk about that. We'll pop over to documentation and we'll go into release notes here from the welcome screen or the greeter if you will. So we'll go ahead and go down to release announcement. And with LMDE4, you're going to have automated partitioning and support for LMVE or logical volume management and full disk encryption. You also have the option for home directory encryption, support for automated installation of NVIDIA drivers, NVMe support, secure boot support, ButterFS subvolume support, and a revamped installer, which we'll roll the video of here in just a moment so that you can see what that looks like. You've also got automatic installation of micro packages. Is that your codecs and things like that, which are typically an option to set up and install during the installation of standard Linux Mint, that's not in place here during your setup, so you'll do that within the system. Um, it's in the area where you can set up time shift. You've got an automatic resolution bump for the live session to a minimum of 1024 by 768. Uh, you've got a Linux Mint 19.3 improvements, uh, boot repair, system reports, language settings, high DPI, and artwork improvements, as well as new boot menu, celluloid, GNOTE drawing, Cinnamon 4.4, and then XApp status icons have all been bumped up. Uh, they removed the Deb multimedia repository and packages. I'm not sure why there. I'll have to look into that. And then the Debian 10 Buster package base with backport repository. Pop back over to the welcome screen. This is what you're going to see when you boot in for the first time. And then you'll pop over here to first steps. Within first steps, you've got system snapshots. And this is a fantastic tool. And the way it's built into Linux Mint, it's good to know that, hey, I've got this stable snapshot or backup of my system in case anything were to happen. You've also got the update manager, and you can launch all of these here uh, right from within the welcome screen. Now here I ran into a little bit of a glitch. I popped over to traditional. I changed over to traditional just to see what that was going to look like and the system froze. I had to restart the system. Then when I loaded back in, I was sitting on a more traditional desktop with a small lower uh, panel here and the Mint X theme in place. So I decided to switch back to modern. To me it just looks much better. Also from here you can jump right into system settings. So we'll launch in so you can see what that looks like. And no different from standard Linux Mint or Ubuntu based Linux Mint. I don't want to say standard because it could be that LMDE becomes my standard if I'm going to choose to run Linux Mint. We'll see how this system runs and operates. So far it seems smooth. It doesn't seem a lot different really from uh, the Ubuntu based and nor should it um, I think you know because Ubuntu is based off of Debian so the way that's all tied together it should run similar but here you've got access to everything from appearance to preferences to your hardware administration all under one system settings panel and you've got a software manager and it's no different from the Ubuntu based version and here we have firewall if you want to set up your firewall Again, you saw the documentation earlier. Help, so you could go right into the forums or the IRC chat room. And then if you decided you like what you see here and you want to contribute, you can do that from here as well. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And pull up the system info. Here again, you'll see LMDE4 Debbie with Cinnamon version 4.4.8. 
with kernel 419. I'm going to look into updating the kernel here and just see what the effect is, see if it's, uh, you know, if there are any issues. Move on to the installed rundown. I've only installed one piece of software, VocoScreen, for doing this recording. So we're going to kind of quickly run through from the top. You've got your standard accessories, everything from calculator, uh, G Note, which was mentioned. You've got Redshift for controlling that blue light and the USB image writer and stick formatter, uh, mint stick, I believe. Uh, under graphics, you've got drawing, pics, and simple scan, and I suspect this is gonna be the same lineup that you'd find under Ubuntu-based Linux Mint. Firefox web browser, hex chat, Thunderbird transmission, all looks the same. I did check out LibreOffice. This is not the most current version. Typically what I would do here was go ahead and un uninstall this and then install uh, the latest version. Under sound and video, you only had celluloid and rhythm box. And your typical rundown here with administration, everything from the backup tool to the software manager. Synaptic package manager was installed by default, and I'm not sure, I don't recall if that's installed under Ubuntu-based Linux Mint. So there may be a different difference there. Here you have time shift, so we'll take a quick look at that. Here you can select your snapshot type. We'll just go ahead and leave this at rsync. Scroll on through. Sometimes it takes a while, so I'm not going to finish the process here. Just wanted to see what that looks like. But it's going to take a system snapshot, everything from the file system um, to anything that you've got saved within your folders, um, your setup, your theming. Pretty well everything that you've got set up on that system will be saved in one snapshot. If you have any problems, you can roll back to it. And it's just, you know, another form of security there with the system. I've never had an issue, never felt like I had a need to roll back within Linux Mint Ubuntu base. For places, go to our home folder. You're going to see that Nemo here. Let's go ahead and go to about uh, Nemo 4.4.2. Nothing different here. It's laid out pretty well the same. And I think that was their goal uh, really all along was to have a a kind of a duplicate system uh, that for all intents and purposes looks just like Linux Mint from the Ubuntu base. Um, didn't want you to notice any differences or tell any differences or feel any differences within the operating system and I think they've succeeded there. Go ahead and take a look and see if there's any uh, changes here within wallpapers. Don't suspect that there will be and it doesn't look like there are. Everything looks the same there. Go to right click one more time. We'll see if there's anything new under desklets. That would all be the same. Let's go ahead and jump in and do a little theming. Big fan of the Mint Y Aqua. So go ahead and change over to that. It gives it a nice look. Very professional looking right out of the box. We'll switch over to a different wallpaper as well while we're here doing a video. And let's see what we've got up here at Tara. It's of outdoor scenery. They're high quality. Change over to the lighthouse. Kind of a cool look. Looks like a fake lighthouse, but anyway, it's kind of a cool look. Yeah, overall, I, I just got to say, on this system, which I've had Linux Mint Ubuntu on before, it, it feels exactly the same. The speed... Everything about it feels the same. And again, I believe that was their goal. I think they accomplished that. Uh, but for whatever reason, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, wow, this is this is better. I'm running this on pure Debian. This is better. So um, if you've got any questions or comments or anything like that, please feel free to post those below. And uh, we'll look forward to sharing anything new that I find on this. As always, thanks for watching.